Yo, this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here to bring you guys another analogy video on Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Sorry for the wait, guys, it's been a while since I gave you the previous video, but here we go. So, you see by the title, we know what we're going to be talking about, and it's going to be related to the future trunks and the mystery man, which we got a frontal view from up in our latest issue of the V Jump magazine. Now, there's been a lot of rumor and speculation on what this means, especially regarding the mystery man character is that it's probably a Super Saiyan God mode of Gohan from the future or maybe Gohan from the future still survived with his arm intact who knows I think that's an interesting concept to go by too because you know you never know with the Dimps and especially Namco Bandai you know they've always tried to pull something new off and I think that this would be something new and something different and something strange the key word being strange because like you guys seen in my previous video I said that Xenoverse is pretty much the definition pretty much means a strange universe and this could be one of those strange universes of uh, the moves that Dimps is gonna make regarding this character but also people are still saying that this is a created custom character now that's one of the things that I think too but I'm not gonna just pretty much say and claim that that is the main thing that they're gonna go for is a created custom character because we're still left off in the dark we haven't gotten a confirmation from Dimps or Namco Bandai themselves. They've still been kind of tight-lipped about who this character is. But as you can see from the scans, we got a frontal view of the character this time around. So his face isn't being hidden this time to make him that much of a mystery. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the scan, shall we? So as you can see, we got a cool frontal view of future trunks. And now uh, he's wearing a getup that we aren't familiar with. You know, some people think it's a custom outfit, but this is something that people haven't seen but a lot of people have seen this so happens to be time patrol trunks time patrol trunks was featured up in a dragon ball online mmo game entitled dragon ball online this character was pretty much the overseer of time travel and he pretty much did tutorials on how to let you guys jump back and forth in time and travel to different historical events such as like the fights between goku and vegeta or goku and frieza this trunks right here is not the same as future trunks. This is a totally different trunks altogether from an alternate universe. I think this is a cool concept to go by too because like Akira Toriyama, you know, he pretty much did all the character concepts within Dragon Ball and he has a lot of stuff to bring. You know, people really don't give him that, that much respect when it comes to his overall character concepts because this guy has been working on Chrono Trigger. He's been working on other titles such as the Dragon Quest series. And he brings forth a lot of different characters. And I think this is cool. And I also think that this plays homage to the Dragon Ball Online fans, you know, the, the actual game and the fans themselves, because a lot of people don't know that this game got canceled in October 2013. Maybe they're going to expand upon this. Maybe they're going to give people a chance who didn't get a chance to experience Dragon Ball Online's story and the actual premise of that game up in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And, you know, I'm not going to rule out the possibilities, you know, Dragon Ball Xenoverse was based canonically after the events of Dragon Ball Z, you know, it is canon in the storyline, you know, it was approved by Akira Toriyama. And there were a lot of races, you know, and a lot of different specimens in this game that were based from the original cast of Dragon Ball Z. You have the more evolved Namics, you have a new race called the Majin race, which pretty much was an expansion of Majin Buu's race. You know, maybe there is a possibility that we might get a Majin Buu's race or get the evolved, more evolved look of dynamics, or maybe even get more human slash Saiyan characters up in this game. But back to the topic at hand, Time Patrol Trunks. This Saiyan, there's not that much known about him other than the fact that he's a Saiyan hybrid of Vegeta and Bulma. And uh, this incarnation, this particular incarnation, isn't the same incarnation that you saw all alongside the Z Warriors up in the Android saga. This is a totally different Trunks from a totally different universe. Now, what is known about this character is that Dende and Piccolo do exist up in his universe, so that leads me to believe that this might be based off of the current generation Trunks. I'm not saying that it's exactly the current generation Trunks, but I do think that it's based off of the younger Trunks that fought off against Gohan. As you can see, his body's a little slimmer. He doesn't have that big bulky build that Future Trunks had when he returned back to the future. And also, if you notice the sword, it's a little bit different. You can tell by the color of the handle and the craftsmanship on the sword and the actual belt buckle that holds the sword. 
that it's not the same sword that the future trunks wielded up in the dragon ball z android saga another thing that they wanted to put about this character is he did have his own sword school and he might be a better swordsman than Future Trunks, you know, he has a little bit of technique in his own craft when it comes to using his sword. And I think what this character will do, he will actually serve as a different character altogether and he'll have a different move set from the Future Trunks that we're used to and he might be more sword savvy. The character owns his own sword school called the Kikoku Jensu Sword School which was developed by him and Goten after they discovered that they can transfer most of their key energy into the edge of the blade to actually do more damage to their opponents. Now, actually being able to exert more key energy into objects was developed by Gohan up in the Dragon Ball Online Universe. You know, Gohan, he actually did serve a more purpose. You know, as we know, Gohan wasn't really the fighter that he was like when he was a younger kid and he kind of grew up to be more of a scholar. But to see Dragon Ball Online utilize Gohan in that sense to where he actually did study the anatomy of the Z Fighters and actually showed them how to do more things with their key and manipulate it a little bit is an interesting factor. We know we don't really know if Dimps is going to be rolling with this story, but altogether I think that this character and design and all like just the overall look of him and him being from Dragon Ball Online really pays homage to the fans of Dragon Ball Online because unbeknownst to some of you guys Dragon Ball Online servers did get cut off in 2013 in October of 2013 you know and they haven't been up ever since so I think that this is a nod to that and also it lets people who didn't get a chance to get a taste of Dragon Ball Online get a taste of it now if they're gonna follow that same storyline concept what makes me happy about this is there's still room for possibility Dragon Ball Online features a lot of things, you know, it does follow that canon construct of the Dragon Ball Z universe. It's right after the events of Goku leaving the Earth, or somewhat dying, or something like that. And they also expand upon the different races up in that universe. You know, you have the human race, you have more Saiyan hybrids, and you also have an expansion of Majin Buu's race being the Majin race and uh, a different evolved form of the Namekian race. So maybe we can see more characters like that up in there or maybe we can even customize or create more characters from those different races that are based off of Majin Buu, the Saiyans, or the, even the humans or you know the Namekians. I don't think that we should just be, you know, just have one character to choose from in regards to one race. So I think that's also cool. And, you know, um, there's not that much pertaining to this character that we know in regards to fighting besides his uh, Kiko Jutsu style either. You know, uh, he didn't do anything up in the Dragon Ball Online universe. The only moves that he has is the burning attack. And what's interesting about this character compared to the future uh, Trunks character, we've never really gotten a chance to see the future Trunks do the burning attack up in uh, regular Saiyan form, you know, his base form. So uh, just seeing that that character is capable of doing that up in this game and that he might be capable of going to Super Saiyan since he didn't up in the Dragon Ball Online game really gets me excited. The door of opportunities and possibilities are open people. Uh, I think it would be cool to see a new future version of Goten since he did help Trunks develop that school of swordsmanship. Just imagine seeing a different version other than the GT version with the Hitmonchan type hairstyle. That would be cool and that would be great because Akira Toriyama, he knows how to pretty much extend his style. People think that it's a bland style that's become outdated, but this guy has been on the video game development scene as well as the anime scene. We've seen him from Chrono Trigger and we also seen his work from Dragon Quest, so he has a lot to do. And another thing that I might add is, maybe we can see characters from those different universes of Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest. That would be cool to see my favorite characters surface on this Dragon Ball Z game. Or maybe we can get some different items to create these characters. That would be great. That would be cool. Make it happen. I know I might be going on a tangent, but the use of the Dragon Ball Online premise may warrant narrative benefits that can help this storyline out because you know we pretty much seen this familiar premise we pretty much know the gist of the dragon ball z universe and the actual story that goes along with it you know we pretty much gotten reintroduced over and over in different formats but i think this right here really gives us a foreign novelty 
something to which the likes we've never seen before and I think that's really gonna help out the story now back on to the scans as we can see time patrol and the mystery man seem to be having some kind of chit chat in what seems to be a futuristic civilization or the overall hub world that you will be going around in as the futuristic character uh, like I said there's not really that much known about this character other than the fact that he is decked out up in Capsule Corp or futuristic clothes kind of like Trunks' uh, jacket, Capsule Corp jacket and boots and he also has Piccolo's cape and he has a Saiyan Scouter. Now what I want to analyze is his overall outward appearance and what he could possibly be doing within the different time zones. Now looking at that and looking at this character since we don't know if he's a character that's created or not if he's not a creative character, I think what they will do is allow you to go back in time do, through different time zones and battles and actually kind of scavenge your way around, you know. I think that this character might play as more of a time traveling scavenger who collects different things from different battles that he's experienced within those different time frames. I'm not going to rule out the possibilities. If this is Dragon Ball Z or Namco Bandai's original char character concept, it would be cool to kind of find different things laying around, you know, kind of like Vegeta's glove or boots or something like that, you know, or Goku's Earthling attire or something that Goku wore and adding it to my own attire and making my own kind of flavor and style to it. That would be cool and that would be unique. I think that. Namco Bandai has really raised the bar in terms of story and what they can do with this character. Now as far as the civilization is concerned, I would like to analyze that as well because I thought that looked cool. Just take a better look at this. Look how lush the environment is and look how it just pretty much just provokes you to think that you're being immersed into a world that you've never seen before. I like how lush it is, I like how green and you know how vibrant the environment is and I also like how this seems like some kind of universe that's parallel from the Earth's universe altogether because as you can see it looks like they're on a different planet. Or they might be in some kind of room similar to the hyperbolic time chamber where they might just be in the, the Earth's realm but just in another di different dimension altogether. Like you see this base right here that might serve as like the go-to base or the um, actual command center of time patrol trunks and you can see this little tree coming out of it it makes me believe that that's one of the fruits or one of the delicacies that they have of the planet and you also see these different moons like three different moons that looks cool this spot right here this right here was showcased at the e3 game showing up Xenoverse, but there's not that much intel going on about it Dimps really kept tight-lipped about this particular stage too I think this is going to be one of the stages that you actually get to fight on and as you can see it has a time machine similar to future trunks time machine and you can see that the uh, the clock the little hourglass or whatever has gears revolving around it making believe making me believe that that might somehow turn and make you let you be able to go back in time but anyways guys I've rambled on long enough I hope this video was well informed for you guys I know it wasn't a well scripted video and it was a last minute video but I just want to give my analogy input on this what do you guys think tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and also guys interact with me give me PMs or let me know what you guys think personally about Dragon Ball Xenoverse and the possibilities that the story mode could have like always, this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, coming at you with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse update analogy video. I will catch you guys later on the next video. Peace out. Best